Hey everybody, it's Mel. Um, I am so excited doing this video because this is my first favorites video. Um, so, yay! <laughs> I finally jumped on the favorites bandwagon. The only reason that I haven't done one, and I love watching them, I do, because I like to see, it's kind of like a purchase or a haul video to me. You get to see what products people are using and loving, and then you kind of get like a little bit of description about them. So, I love watching them. The only reason that I haven't done them is because, um, a lot of the times my products stay the same. I don't try new things very often, it's just the way that I am. I stick to the same makeup, um, same brands, and same, you know, face wash, same hair products, everything. It just stays the same for me because when I find something that works, I just leave it alone. So, but, um, in spite of all that, I'm going to go ahead and do this video because this month I found um, a few things that have just been amazing and um, hopefully next month they'll be different. So the first thing is some hair products. Um, my Chi. Now, I didn't buy this. This was given to me um, by a really good friend and her name is Dolly from Vintage Glam and she wasn't using this so it was brand new and she sent it to me around the time that mine broke um, because I was just having a horrible time with hair and I wasn't able to get a brand new straightener right then so um, she wasn't using it so she was kind enough to send that to me so that has been my baby every day whether my hair needs to be straightened or not I am playing with it so for anybody criticizes criticizes about over you know burning my hair or damaging it I know but I have never owned a chi so I have been so excited to use it and I love the way my hair looks straight um, and thankfully she also told me to get this heat protectant this is from Tresemme. I've never used any other Tresemme products, but I love this. Um, I don't know how it compares to any other heat protectant because the only one that I can remember using is was from Sally's, and I don't even remember the name. So it was just like some no brand. Um, it was an orange bottle or something. So and that was pretty good, but um, I haven't ever used tea or anything like that. Um, and this is the. Thermal creations, and what you do is just spray it on damp hair before you blow dry, and then blow dried hair before you um, put any heat on it. So, it smells great, um, it makes my hair super soft, super shiny. It's a really good product. So, I definitely, definitely recommend this if you're using um, any sort of heat tools and you don't have a good um, heat protectant. Um, next thing hair related is going to be my Bio Silk, which is um, probably an every month favorite. And this stuff is like crack for your hair, no lie. Um, you only need a little bit. I've had this for several months and you can see and that's all I've used. Um, you just need a little bit, smells great, leaves your hair so shiny and so soft. Um, it never f makes your hair feel um, like icky or like you have too much product. It doesn't make it feel like that at all. It's great. Um, and compared to any like other shine serums with the exception of the soap drops, I've never found anything close. So. That's that. That is for hair. Um, next, let's go to mascara. Um, I just made a video about this mascara, and that should be up in a couple days. Um, but this is the Buxom, and this stuff is beyond amazing. Um, I bought the little one to start because I'm a little bit of a skeptic when it comes to trying new stuff. Um, and Vanessa from Glamour Doll always turned me on to this, and then I'm not even out, and I had to go get this because I fell in love. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail because it's kind of a waste of time since other video is going to be up about it. Um, but the video I do a comparison and slash review and then talk a bunch about how amazing it is. So that's good. Um, it's really kept me from wearing, the one would say kept me, but it's kind of taken over me wearing false eyelashes only just because they, my eyelashes look just almost just as good. So that's awesome. Um, next thing that I've found that this month I've been grabbing for a lot is Ruben S Paint Pot. Now you can see that this is not used a whole lot. Um, I don't think I've even done maybe one tutorial with it. Um, I generally don't like these bronzy colors, um, but for some reason lately <laughs> um, the look that I've been going for is just, you know, um, waterline up and low, um, lower and upper and then black eyeliner through the lashes and then smudge it out and that's been my look. So with that and then the Rubenesque, it really tends to bring out the golden parts of my eyes. So I've been really happy with that. So hopefully I'll get to use that more. Um, and then 
In addition to that look, what I've been covering the Rubenesque with is this color right here. I'll take it out for you. Maybe. And this is Femme Fee. Um, and this color came out with the BBR collection, the brunette blonde redhead collection. I don't know what it's close to um, as far as permanent line goes, but um, it's not any close to anything I have, so I can't even give you a comparison. I apologize for that, but it is amazing. I didn't use it a whole lot, and then all of a sudden I just found that it was perfect for this look that I've been sticking to every day. So that's good um, and then also that's kind of strange for me too because I usually don't ever wear the same eyeshadow look twice or makeup look twice because I have so much I like to play around constantly but this um, like smudged eyeliner look I don't even know what you call it has just been such a favorite lately so yeah um, and to go along with the eyeshadow has been my 224 brush and I think because I'm just doing like an all over, um, I have used this brush more than any other brush this month. So, um, and then for the black eyeliner, the one I've used is engraved. And you can see this used to be my big eyeliner, so I love this eyeliner and it's, it's great. Um, what else? Oh, colored eye, colored eye pencils in general have been something that I've been wanting to grab a lot, whether it's the black or the blue. Um, or even the purple, and so it's inspired me to buy quite a few of <laughs> colored eye pencils. I ran out of black track fluid line. I love my fluid lines, um, but I purposely didn't buy any more black track because I wanted to uh, use some of the pencils that I had, and then I found that I really, really liked using pencils also. So I'm kind of on a pencil kick. So those are our favorite eyeliner pencils, which is the reason that I got... Um, Urban Decay Gunmetal, and this is the 24-7. Um, this eyeliner is just good all around. It's good on black, it's good on its own. It's just a good eyeliner. I love the color. It's unique to anything that I have. Okay, um, skincare. <laughs> I know I'm trying to rush through this as fast as I can. I'm sorry. If anybody wants anything in detail, let me know and I'll do that. Um, skincare. I have two major skincare items. And this one is the Clean and Clear Advantage Spot Treatment. The, this smells like perfume. It smells so good. And this works overnight. I And you can wear it. Um, I When I did a, a purchase video with this, I had a bunch of people asking me, can I put it on more than once a day? You know, how many times can I use it? I use it if I have um, problems. Like right now, I have a big problem in my chin area. I'll use it like three or four times a day. And I don't have any problems drying. Um, now, I also put use alcohol on my face and I don't have a problem with that drying either so I would be careful if you do but just like anything start slow but this stuff works literally overnight it's it's great um, and then next product is the cleaning clear um, I'm sorry the Neutrogena clear pore cleanser mask and this is great obviously because it's a two-in-one so you're getting two products for one you have your everyday face cleanser and then you have your mask when you want to do a mask so this is great and this also smells amazing but it works really well so the two together have really really helped my skin um, I also paired it with and I forgot to bring it in here is the um, clean and clear astringent and that um, in conjunction with the other two is just amazing it's a really good skincare routine for me so um, I think oh lashes I didn't <laughs> I knew I was going to forget something. I kind of put it all here, and then I was like, oh, crap. Um, this is my new favorite. I, would, I wouldn't say my number one favorite yet, but this is my second favorite eyelash. Um, and this has come, this has beat out many other pairs of eyelashes. And this is the um, Andrea Mod Lash number 13. Um, they're kind of spiky. And they're still subtle enough for everyday wear, but they look so fierce on. And you do like a smudge liner look, and they're amazing. Um, so yeah, those are really good. And I get all my lashes at madamadeline.com. I'll put the link in the sidebar. And I think that is it for my favorites. Um, oh, I remember too what I was going to say is my headbands this month since I got these because I wear them to on game day. So those are also a monthly favorite for this month because I have been wearing them to games. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Sorry, the video is kind of rushed, um, but I was trying to get through a lot. 
and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.